I've talked about Tamano-san, Yayoi-chan's eyes began to sparkle with envy. Of course. <laughs> no, well, you know, it's a wedding. There aren't any gigs at noon, right? Alright, so it's working. That's right. And so Master agreed to it too. Tamano-san is planning to come this evening to discuss the details. You bet. I hope it turns into a good ceremony. As the one who came up with this idea, Kanade was pumped for it. A wedding is one of life's biggest events after all. I wanted to make it a good memory for them too. I hope their daughter comes too. <laughs> yes, we can get her in our band! Everything was riding on whether or not she came. No, not yet. That was right. I had to find us a drummer, quickly. I didn't actually have time to be doing this. But I can't just leave them be, can I? I felt destiny tugging at me. Hey, I'm not that shameful. Everything Gondasan said was snappy. But he was the type who could only say things that way. So it wasn't worth caring about. You're a sweetheart too, aren't you Gondasan? You're the one who invited me, aren't you? <laughs> That's true. Grr. Are you saying I'm a soaked abandoned pup? <laughs> Yayoi chan muttered something ominous. It'll obviously be rented for, for the day, but we're, th we're thinking of letting guests come in freely. This was an idea Kanade and Tamano came up with together. Since they're holding it in a place like this, it was probably better to let all kinds of people join instead of closing it off. And Tamano-san fully agreed. Such as... Oh, you're thinking a little high. That's from uh, the Showa era. No one holds such a gaudy ceremony nowadays. Yayoi-chan's dreams are a bit eccentric, huh? No, Yayoi-chan herself is. Gonasan spat out uninterested. This man had no interest in the happiness of others. There you have it. We wanted to have everyone enjoy the celebration. A fun, peaceful ceremony in what Tamano-san wanted it to be. Yayo-chan was ready to go. After seeing our last concert, she was probably itching to get on stage herself. But Yayoi-chan realized the problem. That's right. And the dis discussion came back to that. <laughs> but we can't really press him either. I'm not 
Right now, it hurt him just to sit. Having him perform like that would be too hard on him. I'll do what I can to find out, but in the worst case scenario, it is possible that we go without a drummer. That's because it's a happy occasion. Cut it some slack. Think of it like playing Ladybug Samba. He asked me with a stern look. I had to reply with the truth. No, I'm not. Even if not, if we were doing it for fun, I didn't want to cut corners. Especially not for the happy occasion. I wanted to make it a great performance. Oh, you're right. There was that idea. If her daughter would play, the Tamano san would be happy too. That'd be two birds with one stone. But it's still worth asking her about it, right? If she would do it for us, then that would be the best thing for Tamano san and his fiance. Right. That's if she'll come today, though. If she did come, then we might have a chance. I'll have to try and convince her then. That's right! That evening, Tamano san and his fiance came early for the meeting. The wife, to be, was a young, pretty woman. It seemed the wife was also in agreement with this idea. And the problematic daughter was nowhere to be found. I guess she didn't come after all. They both looked around blankly. When did she disappear? The wife, to be, said with a sigh. I guess this happens often. She must have been a very at her own pace kind of girl. Rimu chan didn't show up despite their calls. まだ外にいるんじゃないですか。きっとその辺をうろちょろしてるんだと思います。本当に落ち着きのない子なんだから変なところに入り込んで迷惑かけないといいけど。リムちゃんは好奇心旺盛だから。すみません。私ちょっと
He was using it. I didn't know since it was so quick. Quiet. I'm sorry. Wrong room. Yeah, 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 nothing. He realized it was me and got worked up. He suddenly started making a fuss. Sledger Michonne was alone today, I see. No, no real complaints. You're quite devoted to practice by yourself. Oh, I see. I said a bad thing. Well then, please enjoy yourself. Let's get out of here. Okay, that's out of the way. <clears throat> Rimuchan wasn't in the other rooms either. It looked like she hadn't come this way. If she's not here, she must be outside. Let's go. Damn it! So it's good. Piss! I missed her. When I went outside, I saw Kanade and a small girl with her. That's her. It looked like she was Rimuchan. It seems Kanade had caught a hold of her outside. Uh, that sounds like something she would do, I guess. Rimuchan was upset. I guess she resented Kurumura getting away. Come on, let's get back inside. I'm sure Kurumura will come back in due time. Rumuchan suddenly started in dash. Hey, hold it! Honey? This really was a restless girl. I could easily lose sight of her. L lend me your hand. Hmm? She placed her hand on mine, despite the question marks above her head. I tightly gripped her small hand. What is Let's hold hands. Why are you getting mad, Kanade? Don't you be making that pouty face. Ugh. She was surprisingly obedient. I didn't understand her much. Quit making that face, Kanade. Quit being a jealous bitch. You'll have your time. Hmm. What are you looking at? Quit being jealous. All the chicks want me. I walked off with Rima Chan's hand in mine. I'm Suganuma. Suganuma Shoichi. Suganuma Shoichi? Sugar Show? <laughs> she shortened it in no time. Mm, no. Huh? Why do you say that? She said it casually, but it was pretty crude. Was she implicitly criticizing Tamaro-san? <laughs> Rimuchan replied bluntly. Her mouth was turned up in a frown. Rimuchan, are you opposed to your mother's remarriage? That wouldn't be why she was taking a, taking a rebellious attitude, but Rimuchan shook her head with dis, disinterest. She answered, still looking around, trying to find Kuramana. That made it seem like she wasn't thinking about our question seriously. But it does, right? The person who marries your mother will be your new father. Whether I said that, when I said that, Rumuchan looked directly at me for the first time. She tilted her head in curiosity. By one papa. She must mean the father who left her when she was a kid, of course. Maybe Rumuchan really wouldn't accept any other man as her father. <laughs> no, just one. Though, I don't consider him my father. He probably doesn't even consider me as his son either. Then 
That may be true, but... Talking to her was like beating out of thin air. I'm sure it was like this no matter what Tomino-san said to her too. I can understand his troubles. But I need to persuade her to come on the day of the ceremony somehow. Okay, man, how are we gonna do this? It's probably hiding somewhere. Cats run when you chase them. Why do you want to catch it so much? Do you like cats, Rimu-chan? You're not sure. Then why chase it? Fair enough! She instinctively chased after something that moved? She's more like a cat herself than a cat lover. By the way, Kremona still won't even look at me when I play the guitar. He's cheeky, but he has good ears. Rimu-chan pointed toward the studio rooms. Of course there's drums. That's why I looked for you in the first place. We came into the studio and Rimu-chan quickly took up position behind the drum set. With a custom movement, she finished setting it. We haven't established this already, Kanade. Where have you been? God damn it. I guess she planned on pounding the drums and luring Kurumana out. Not that it'll go that well. He still won't even listen to my guitar. Holding a grudge. But this is also a chance for me to find out how good of a drummer she is. I'd like to have her play all the at the ceremony, so I want to know her ability first. I heard you learned the drums from your father. How long have you been playing him? Mm, Let's see this. Huh. When Rimo chan started hitting the drums, a sound I hadn't even imagined flew out. What was this? Huh. Pretty good. Kanade was hint to Rimo chans performance as well. No matter how much her father was a professional drummer and taught her to play the drums, she was still a small girl. I thought her ability had to be limited. I never thought she could show off a performance like this. Neko, Neko, come on! I thought she was goofing around, but her rhythm was the real deal. Her drums also had a different sound from Masters. She didn't have as much force as him, but considering Rimochan's figure, it was miraculously loud. But more important was her overwhelming sense of rhythm. The un-Japanese crispness of her rhythm and the occasional small flourish she showed was wonderful. To be honest, I didn't know what she was doing to produce that sound, but its impact was tremendous. <laughs> yeah, grooving. She sped up her tempo. It sounded as if she's shifting gears. Wow. Showering low tones, repeatedly overlapping heavy, low tones struck me. It was like I had leaped into a sea of rhythm. Like I was able to be swept by the pressure of sound. The core of my body shook. I knew what Kanade was wanting to say immediately. I felt the exact same way. She's a badass! As if we were asking for someone to replace Master, it had to be this girl. Scratch, scratch. Oh god. Huh? I faintly heard a scratching sound behind me. He came out, look at him. It was Kremona. 
I could hear him outside the door. Was he really lured over by Rumu Chan's drums? Oh no, she wouldn't chase him. Rimu stopped drumming and leaped off the drum set and flew out of the studio. Rimu chan! Kuramura quickly ran away. Rimu chan, hold on a second! I hastily grabbed Rimu chan as she tried to dash off after Kuramura. She is one of. She is on the hunt, she said. Yeah. I told you it runs because you chase it. Calm down a little. Rimu chan looked upset, but for now she was behaving. Kanade couldn't hide her enthusiasm. Kanade and I both were excited about by Rimu chan's drumming. But Rimu chan was discontent that Krumuna had gotten away from her. Um, Rimu chan. Are you on a ban or anything at the moment? With Rimu chans ability, it was only natural for her to play, be playing with someone, right? If that was the case, then I was worried this was going to get complicated again like it was with Kaguya-san. But Rimu chans answered quickly. Really? I didn't expect that. Did she have more fun playing the drums by herself? So she played in a band, but it wasn't enough to satisfy her, it seems. Was that with your friends? Then I guess there's no wonder Rimu chan couldn't be satisfied. Her abilities would have been far beyond theirs. And that's why she lost interest in playing with others. I don't know what level her father's band was on, but Rimu chan, it was the ideal sound. Maybe it's grown more beautiful than it actually was. If that was the case, then it would be rather hard to satisfy Rimu chan. Um, Rimu chan, could you try playing one more time in a band? Bando? With us. Rimu chan looked stunned. Did she understand me correctly? How about it? Mm, Sounds like a pain. That went well. At that moment, I saw Tamano heading over. Oh, he saw Rimu chan and hustled over. I'm sorry for taking so long. I found her quickly, but I had her play the drums for me for a little. Tamano-san put his hands on his chest in relief. He said with a bashful smile. It seems more like he came out of worry, of worry since we were taking so long. I'm sure he really was worried. I shouldn't let him know that we'd found her sooner. I felt bad for being inconsiderate. On the other hand, Rimu-chan looked extremely annoyed. <laughs> Even I couldn't tell that Tamano-san had been really worried about Rimu-chan, but she still didn't seem to realize it at all. How can we make her understand Tamano-san's feelings? To Tamano-san, there wasn't much point in anyone celebrating if Rimu-chan wouldn't celebrate it. Celebrate the occasion. I wanted to make this a memorable wedding for them. Besides, I also had my feelings clear too. After hearing those drums, I couldn't think of anyone but Rimu-chan as our drummer. But how can I get her to realize that? It seems hard to make Rimu-chan understand anything. She was... She was the my pace type who didn't listen to others. I needed a way to make her change her feelings. We won't do it, man! We got this! 